I've always wanted to uh, do something related to forensics because of the passion that I've had in the past at least 10 years in, forensic, in the forensic field, in the investigation field more in particular. The fact that the United Kingdom and especially staffs uh, provided such a great course, so forensic investigation, made me want to um, follow my dream. So living in Stoke on Trent has been uh, amazing, uh, especially because I managed to make new friends, not just from my course and from the university, but also outside the, co the course and the university. Um, and the lecturers and my tutor have been absolutely amazing. Uh, they've supported me in the past three years and I'm very grateful uh, to them for these reasons. My final year project is about the uh, identification of big cat species through uh, microscopic hair analysis. So the inspiration was of course my uh, love for animals and more in uh, particular in my, the love for um, big cats in general and also the passion that I developed in the past few years um, of analysing hair samples in the laboratory of the university. Wildlife crime is a um, current and global problem and um, for this reason hair analysis present on a wildlife crime scene can be able to tell if a particular species was present in that range. I ended up getting some samples from uh, six different zoos and wildlife parks in the United Kingdom. The samples came from 32 different individuals and these individuals were respectively uh, jaguars, um, leopards, cheetahs, lions and tigers. So in the future I would like my research to be used in order to identify different types of big cat species and to lower the cases of wildlife crimes uh, committed against this type of animals which are currently endangered and a high risk of extinction. Uh, by simply trying to find hair samples on the crime scenes, 